You guys, I have really been into wall hangings lately, and this wall hanging was inspired by something that I saw off of Pottery Barn Teen, and there's similar wall hangings like this that are around. So I wanted to make one myself. So I grabbed a board that I had in my garage. I didn't even cut it, like it was just the, the length that it was at, and it ended up being 50 inches. So I'm gonna start by staining my board, and I'm gonna be using a color called Golden Oak. I'm just going to brush it on and then wipe off any excess. So next, I went to Michael's to find yarn. They were having a buy two, get one sale. So I ended up buying six, but I'm only using five for this project. So I picked up five different shades of really natural looking yarn. So creating the tassels did take quite a bit of time because I was going to make 30 tassels. So each of my five yarns, I was making six tassels for them. So that takes a while. I think in the end, I mean, I kind of went and was doing some other stuff. I think it took me around an hour and a half, two hours to make these tassels, but you could you know, sit in front of the TV and do this. So I really refined how this tassel process was working. So I wanted some really long, like skinny type of tassels. So I took a piece of cardboard I'm trying to be better you guys at my measurements so the cardboard that I used was 11 and a half inches I know I'm bad about giving you guys measurements so I'm trying to get better at it so then what I did was I took one of my yarn colors and I wrapped it around the board 18 times Then I took the whole section of yarn off of the board. Then I came in with some macrame cord that I had that I had purchased off of Amazon. And I'm just going to wrap the macrame cord and tie it in a knot in the back. And with the macrame pieces, I cut off some pretty long strands because I didn't know how long I would be hanging them. So the macrame cord strands were pretty long. So I tied it in the back and then I cut off the little end. Then then with my longer end, what I did was I took a little bit of hot glue and put it in the middle of the top part of my tassel so that I could hide the cord in the tassel. That way, if they flipped around, you wouldn't be able to see it. So I hot glued it and then I kind of bunched up the yarn around it. So that way it looked like the tassel was just in the middle. Then I cut off the excess down at the bottom so that it made a tassel and it was fringy. So I repeated the steps for all of my yarn until I had 30 tassels. So I was excited to finally get to this next step. So I laid out my board so that the back of it was facing up. Then I started to lay out all of my tassels the exact way I wanted it to look. So I didn't you know, make any sort of pattern. I really didn't want it to be like a pattern. I just kind of wanted to make them look different. So I just kind of picked up you know, colors here and there. So don't plan it out, like don't do like, don't go like five colors, then start at the next one. You want it to be a little bit more random than that. And then just kind of vary your height. Once you have it completely the way you want it to look, make sure you stand back and look at it. Then I came in and I hot glued each of them to the top of my board. Now I didn't measure them out. I didn't make sure that they were absolutely perfect because I don't know, I feel like I just, I didn't want it to be super perfect. Next, I'm gonna come in and cut all of the cord at the top, making sure that I don't have any hanging over the edge. The next thing you wanna do is go through and trim all of your tassels. You want them to be like pretty even and this is gonna make a big difference in your tassels. So I went down to the edge and I just trimmed them off. Now you could probably do this before they're hanging, but 
I just went ahead and did this step at this point. Now to hang it on the wall, you could use some wall hangers. I'm gonna be using some command strips and hanging it on the wall. Now since you do have the pieces on the back, you probably wanna use more command strips than you think so it holds in place. Or you could always just use some like picture hangers on the back. And here's a look at how my wall hanging turned out. Hey guys, I'm Liz and you're watching my second DIY channel where I post daily DIY videos. You may be familiar with my main channel, Liz Fibic DIY, but I'm glad that you found me over here on my second channel. Make sure that you're subscribed so you just get notified every day when I post our daily DIY video.